welcome to another Action Cole video. We are here at downtown Oakville and uh, we're at actually the Yacht Club, I think the Oakville Club. It's six degrees Celsius, uh, 42 Fahrenheit, and I've got somebody with me for this walk. Hey, yeah, Paul. Lee. What are you doing here, man? <laughs> Still, man, check action. Yeah, just checking out the area. Lee's doing a. Uh... So, shout out to Zayed. We just started a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. What's the channel handle, first of all? Action Coal. Action Coal. Yeah. So if you guys are into uh, street, how do, how, do you de how do you describe your channel? So it's like a walking slash biking channel. So I go around okay. different neighborhoods in like Western, uh, Western Greater Toronto area. So okay. I do mostly Mississauga because I'm from there, but I'm branching out today doing Oakville. Paul's going to show me around the yeah. area. I'm going to show him around. Yeah. Uh, so if you guys are familiar with channels like Johnny Strides, yeah. uh, basically it's like he's going to be like the West King. Yeah. Carbon coffee, not carbon. carbon. No, he's got his own style. A little bit more style, yeah. He's got his own style. So, uh, <laughs> I'm going to do so. This video is going to be like a little walkabout. It's a new uh, Kids Zayi's channel. Hopefully, yeah. you guys go check it out. Subscribe, mm -hmm. obviously. Uh, because uh, it's cool just to get like uh, people's point of view of uh, neighborhoods that they don't live in because mm -hmm. you just get different you just get different angles, which is fantastic. So, shout out to Zayid. You may recall him from the 2020 YouTube rewind that we did like, oh, yeah, I remember that. like five years ago now but that yeah seemed like ages ago man yeah. dude so he was in that so go check that out mm -hmm. and uh so we just started and uh we're gonna do uh we're gonna walk and talk i guess yeah eh? we're just gonna walk around it'll be cool, it's man. gonna be like a little mini podcast but little just, mini podcast, yeah. actually, which i dig so, <laughs> so what's your ig handle uh is that zaid opal at uh z-a-i-d yeah. o-p-a-l yeah i don't have an actual cold one i think i might just leave just it with mine yeah because i already accrued followers on there so Makes sense. So go yeah. check him out and uh, yeah. just get, let's just go walk. Yeah, let's check it out. This is actually a beautiful spot, honestly. Yeah, it's a good spot. Yeah. How much do you think these boats are worth, probably? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm going to say 300,000. <laughs> yeah. Just, just guessing. Just to be safe, right? Even like the parking spot, I don't know how much. Oh, the parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> how much is this parking spot? Like this one spot, number five, probably. Number five. <laughs> number probably five. like 50 grand just right there. And then you got to park it over there. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of maintenance, man. It's pretty cool, like this little uh, lighthouse. I don't know if it's a. Uh, I don't know if it was like made back then. That flag looks like the Czech flag. I don't know if you know about like uh, like national flags, but it kind of looks like the Czech Republic flag. It's interesting. Yeah. yeah, like the white. I guess it's the old flag. I guess it might be. Like there's like specific like things for like I don't know if you remember like the British stuff like yeah you know, like that the ensigns. Yeah. But like there's specific like things were different like boats and shit but yeah i don't know it's a history nerd this is pretty cool though all right we'll walk down here and then we'll walk back up yeah. to the oakville yacht squadron okay Apparently. sounds like a star wars thing yeah, <laughs> Squad i guess there's different kinds of squadrons this is interesting yeah paul has a very underrated channel check out check out his channel like i'm channel. just surprised that like how great the quality is it's just thank you on a different level how do you how do you say your last name uh, yigu chin yigu chin yeah. okay all right so check out his channel is paul yigu chin yeah subscribe subscribe he's been doing a lot of halloween videos yeah, he does I like went, I went yesterday from the last one and then uh you do like uh is it photo tours like for 70 dollars right for yeah so you do like uh like the workshops the workshops that's what yeah, yeah. The workshop we do workshops we get out to toronto uh, we do free meetups too, just random get togethers. There's a meetup point for Halloween, because Halloween's on a Sunday. So we're getting a bunch of people to dress up and walk to downtown to Toronto, so that'll be a lot of fun. So if you're in the Toronto area and you like to dress up for Halloween, check us out, getedgeek.com, because all the information is there. We'd love to have you because we love meeting new people. And it's a great place to meet new people because you get, yeah. like, if you're into photography, yeah, you have exactly. something to talk about, you have something in common, makes it a lot easier. Yeah, I think that's the power of meetup, just being able to, like, meet people casual environment like we're not snobby we don't have any egos we just come out to have a good time walk around have a chat take a few shots and that's how people learn usually so that's my pitch hopefully it's good <laughs> no it's perfect yeah. the riverdale farm one was really good too that was a great yeah, great meetup fun, like that was fun guys oh hopefully you have squadron i guess that's the flag right might be yeah oh yes i didn't even know i didn't even all the little things that you like yeah that's what i love about walking around places like you don't even know about certain things and then you like look and then i went to korea park right or i don't know how to say it korea 
Korea. Yeah, what is it? Korea? Korea, Korea. I think. So like uh, apparently it's like a so there's a bell there. I didn't, I've been there so many times, but I didn't check the like the like what the bell meant. So yeah. I read it and it said apparently there's like a city in Japan that's like a sister city to Mississauga. Yeah, yeah, Korea, yeah, yeah. So I, I think that's why it's yeah. So they send the bell as like a friendship yeah. token. I had yeah, yeah. no I, like yeah. there's such interesting things that we don't even know. We Actually, walk by. um, Wokla has a sister city in the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yeah, like the south. Because I, I went there. Because I have a friend that lives in the Netherlands. Oh, okay. So I went there with summer. And then we went to like the sister city of Oakville. Was there like a Oakville like a Yeah, there's like a tag plaque, there? man. Like a city <laughs> random. Like, really? All the way on the other side of the world? Well, okay, it's coming from like World War II, right? Oh. So that's why that's why they have that. It's such a random thing. But. There's probably like some World War II soldiers that are from Oakville. Yeah, and they're like, oh, this place is awesome. These people right. are nice. Yeah. But yeah, it's like... It's dope. It's just like you walk around, you learn so much new you stuff. Do, you it's do. just, and you get healthy you too. That. That's good. That's actually good to mention in the video, like the power of walking around. Like, so uh, Z Zaid was just mentioning like the power of like walking around, like being able to like discover just like stuff that you wouldn't even know. Because I just discovered there's an Oakville Yacht Squadron. Yeah. Shout out Oakville Yacht Squadron. <laughs> I don't know if they have an oh, Instagram. <laughs> we can tag so, them. <laughs> I guess that's why you like doing this kind of video because you just discover stuff where you wouldn't. Where you I'm just like a natural. Like when I was a kid, I was just like look at discovering stuff like you know to be just yeah. in my backyard just like going to different spots and just and plus i do it for like health reasons too because yeah. obviously covid yeah. like i gained quite a bit of weight and like one of the things i looked into was like walking around is like very good for your health like if you do like ten thousand steps you burn like so many calories doing that so yeah. i was at 253 pounds i'm now down to like 241 so oh you look good though. thanks man it's just like good. it's been like a slow process just getting more more and more healthy I think, yeah. I think we all gained weight during COVID. I yeah. gained a few pounds because, you know. So you can't roll with so I'm just going to freaking eat my face off. Yeah, like what else is there to do? Yeah. Like, there's no commuting, no nothing? Yeah. These guys always, always fuck with everybody. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, let's go this way and then we can rotate the other way yeah. around, I guess? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is Tannery Park. Oh, so okay. it goes all the way uh, mm. west. So that could be a whole video. Because there's a really nice view up on that platform there mm -hmm. of Toronto. Okay. So oh, I see. see I see it right there. there. Yeah. So honestly, I think that's a whole video on its own. So Tannery Park, nice. Tannery Park is another place that you should check. I'm gonna milk the milk this area. <laughs> I, I don't think people. Even the saga's like, got quite a few spots yeah. too. It's, uh, it's interesting. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, I guess we can head to the street. What do you think? Or yeah, you wanna is there any more interesting? Wanna, thing? No, this is kind of it. Okay. Uh, you want to go up in the strip? Yeah, let's go check out the strip. Guys are doing some yeah, it's okay. <laughs> what I usually do is like, uh, I usually put headphones on, and that like right. I have a podcast playing very low, oh, so it doesn't right. distract me too much. Right, right, right. But that usually causes me to not get too anxious when I'm walking around. Yeah, yeah. So when people do look, they're just like, they really don't care. Honestly, they're just like, they're just curious. Like, what are you doing? Yeah. See people walking on cameras. Yeah. Like All right. So we just kind of completed this little section. So now we're gonna go up on Lakeshore and just walk, uh, <laughs> walk Lake Lakeshore. Which is uh, going to be great, so uh, we're going to crush it because I eat pumped. Yeah. I'm just glad it's a nice day. Um, the weather has changed into proper fall. Mm -hmm. So uh, shout out summer, it's been fun. But uh, fall's here. If you like it or not. Yeah. At least the colors get better, you know, they look nicer. Yeah, that's true. Uh, that's, that's the only good thing. Is that yeah, right. It's got like fun to shoot now <laughs> instead of just boring and green shit. You like make things out of like leaves and shit? <laughs> Oh, That's the only good thing. Yeah, right. And I, it's like a, it's like hoodie weather, like slash like fleece. So it's not too, doesn't feel too cold. But like when you hit December, then you have to like wear a jacket and stuff. And that's when it's like hard to actually get out, go outside and. Oh, I hate winter yeah. I'm in the wrong yeah, why not? They might. Yeah. They probably need some sort of like you know, yeah. social media presence yeah, or something. Like, what do you guys do? <laughs> what is a squadron? <laughs> what the hell is a squadron? What you guys, do you do? <laughs> tell me what you do, Arnold. Boys, like, tell me what you do. <laughs> Who, are you? Who is your daddy? Who and what does he do? It's only like really old dudes. They're like, huh? Why do you want to record us? <laughs> why do you want to do this? Yeah. I don't know, it's kind of fun getting with old people on camera because sometimes if they really dig it, like they get really like, I don't know, there's just something about them, like they have so much uh, story to them. But, uh, 
Yeah, there's not as much because they've lived like, through life. There like, not as much have, like, Yeah, you can tell that they have a lot to say. Yeah. And if they're comfortable on camera, sometimes you get some good stuff. Mm -hmm. This like, is nice. Yeah. Oh yeah, you're saying? Go ahead. Yeah, like one of the um like one of the first kind of interviews I did was like when I went to like England. I had a mm -hmm. friend there, so I went there and then there was this busker plane. He was like in his sixties. Mm -hmm. So I just interviewed him and he could have talked for like hours. Like he yeah. had so much to say. And he like loved the camera, which obviously helps, but well, he's, I guess, busker, he's like he's more. He's a busker, yeah. so he just like started talking about like how he mm -hmm. got into busking and mm -hmm. like the area and like his life and like mm -hmm. how he like hated his office job and like he just went into it. I'm like, man, we could have done like a solid like 60 minutes interview with you, man. <laughs> but like, yeah, like sometimes uh, people want to like hang and talk. Mm -hmm. I noticed that like, I remember this one guy I was doing a walk uh, in Mississauga. And I saw, I noticed that he put his coffee, like, uh, he had a bike, right? But he had, like, a coffee, like, holder in his bike. Yeah. And I was just, like, I was just being random. I was like, oh, yeah, that's pretty cool. That's pretty convenient, right? And he's like, oh, yeah, that's what I do. And then he came up to me afterwards. They talked to me for, like, yeah. 15 minutes about the Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, that's what, saying. Saga. that's what I'm saying. Like, some people just want to, like, I feel like people want to have more of interactions now because of COVID. I think so. Yeah. I think that's part of it. You're, like, stuck in your class. part of it. So, this is Lakeshore and uh, what's your name? Foresight. Foresight, okay. Yeah, that's where we are. So we're gonna cross the bridge. We're just coming up right now. All right, sir. So Paul's just getting some shots. <laughs> B-roll, man. B-roll. Oh, My whole channel's B-roll. <laughs> that's all it is. <laughs> that's all it is. It's Alex and I like it when it's like turning, it's like red on the top and it's like yeah. just about to turn, like the green's about just about to turn red. It's just like, it's in that transition phase. This is nice. It's probably a name for this bridge. Just, uh... Probably. Yeah. I think it could be on the other side actually. There is a plaque on the other side. Oh, is there? Okay. Oh, uh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, on the other side. On, on that side is a plaque, I think. I might oh, okay. actually give you a name if you want to better the video. Yeah. That'd be actually good. Yeah. So should we... Okay. Let's look over onto this side. So how do you go about planning your videos? Are you just like roll up, walk and talk and see like what kind of interests you? Or do you have like an agenda prior to... So I like to look for like urban areas and I do a bit of research beforehand just to see like what's going on with the area. So like obviously this area I was looking into, it's like the second most richest uh, city in all of Canada, uh, yeah. first being North Vancouver. Yeah. So obviously there's a lot of wealth. It's a very old uh, town as well. It was first established in the 1700s. So. You know more, you know more than me, man. Huh? Okay. Cool. Yeah. You know just, more than me. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, I just do like I just do like a little bit, so I have something to talk about. And then when I see plaques, I just like look over the plaques and just talk about it. Like when I did the uh, Korea Park video, yeah. I saw that plaque and it just it made the video more interesting because yeah, then I just sure. be walking around I'm like oh. The yeah. Tubble. No, Saeed just, was just asking me about the name of the bridge. I'm like, I think there might be a plaque over yeah. there that actually gives a name or some sort mm -hmm. of significance. So that's what I mean about getting like different angles on places that mm -hmm. you've been a million times. Like you mm -hmm. just get different perspectives. Like what's mm -hmm. the name of this bridge? And I actually don't know. It's like, okay, well maybe I should know this. Well, like maybe you should know that. So hopefully that's kind of like one like the message of this video is yeah. to, uh, to explore, you know? Explore and yeah. be curious and get people's like different yeah. takes on things because you don't, know everything all the time yeah i was watching some video and they're talking about like how there was a study done that said that uh somebody was given thirty thousand rays thirty thousand dollar rays right okay. and the other person was told to walk 30 minutes a day okay and their happiness level was exactly the same huh? so it was like thirty thousand dollars a day to walking 30 minutes a day the happiness is exactly the same yeah so like walking and like exploring is like it's in us like if you think about it like back in like caveman times yeah. We had to go out and like hunt for our food and we yeah. saw like a nice vista and all that stuff. So it's, it's part of us like yeah. we have to like do it. And like obviously we live a sedentary life nowadays. Yeah. And we're just on our computers. And stuff. Well, computers are great obviously. Social media is great. Shout out, shout out computers. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube. Shout out YouTube. <laughs> yeah, YouTube is awesome. Yeah. But like sometimes we get lost in that world too much. So at least I feel like I do as well. But Yeah, no, that's a good point, man. It's a good point just to yeah. uh, not be lazy. Yeah. Like, don't be lazy. 
And here we are. We're not being lazy. We're yeah. out, we're out walking and making bits. People yeah. looking at us. People looking at us. It's fantastic. Yeah, that was it's that was kind of weird. Do on a Sunday and then just like causing ruckus. You know? <laughs> they just look at you like, what are these people like, what doing? Buffalo's <laughs> never seen so much publicity. Trust me, they've never oh, yeah. seen so much. It's like our city's interesting. It's, like, yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. It's always funny when you when you're walking and you're like recording a building and then people look at you and they look at the building and then they're like, what? Why are you recording this building? <laughs> <laughs> like, dude, this building's like 300 years old. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, onwards and upwards. Yes. Wow. That's, so that's like the community center, right? I think. Or this is the library. Oh, that's the library. Okay. You want that in the video too? Yeah. I was, well, actually, we'll actually we'll cross the street and then we'll walk on that side, I guess. I was uh, I went down this street yesterday. I was hanging out with some friends in Toronto. It's like a street called Elm Street on Elm and Young. Yeah. There's some really old. Oh, this is the. This is Lake Shore. Oh, is so it's just Lake Shore Road Bridge. Flag. This is like the dedication. Yeah. But there's no like bridge name. Yeah. I think it's just the Lake Shore Road Bridge, which is not the nicest name. But I don't know. Get a little creative. Yeah. It's a little more interesting. Harbor, like Harbor Bridge or something. Yeah. Something more like. Yeah. Maybe, 16 mile creek bridge. That would be a lot nicer. That would make sense, actually. Yeah. I'm gonna email someone about that. It's like a place like, yeah, yeah, yeah. chase me the bridge. Yeah, exactly. I had a fancy at the plaque. No, it was pretty cool though. Yeah. 2017, it was dedicated. Oh, okay. All right, well, that was only like four years ago. Yeah. <laughs> Literally. It was probably like resurfaced or something around yeah. that time. Well, like, it was, at that point, it was actually like, redone. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, so the, uh, have you ever been to that plate? Oh, I was like Glen Road Bridge across from Rosedale to yeah, yeah, Lore. That's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a nice pedestrian bridge. It is actually nice, right? Eh? Yeah. So, this is the central library. Yeah, let's cross over. Traffic's not too bad. I might jaywalk. Oh, wait, no, this guy's going. Oakville police gonna look at this video. This guy's jaywalk. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah. You'll be, <laughs> you'll be, uh, you'll look at a phone call. Is <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. there like a, Oh, did they like attach something to it? It looks like a, there's like an older building and they renovated maybe. Like that side looks a little bit older by, by the wood. Maybe it's not, I don't know. Yeah, this is interesting looking. I like there's a little square here too. You can just hang out. Yeah. Just That's what makes up. Yeah. Right, yeah, they're renovating the Mississauga Central Library right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's a pretty nice one too. It's like four or five floors, right. but it looks ugly from outside. I think that's why they're renovating it. <laughs> there's like that 1970s, like uh, what you call it? What's like the? There's a style of architecture. I forget the name. of like a lot of concrete like this. Oh, really? I don't know anything about architecture. <laughs> uh, there's a term. I forget what it's called. It's like a. Uh, well, like it's, it was really big in the 70s, and then everything was like solid form and like very concretey. Some people don't like it, but some people like it. It's just like it's a, it's like it was it was a way to make it a little bit more simple and cheap to build stuff. Because mm -hmm. obviously, like that building is like stucco. You see that one right there? Yeah. It's like stucco and like it's really hard to build. And it's like very intricate with different design tips. So they wanted to make it more simple. Okay. What was oh brutalism? That was called. Is that what it's called? Yeah. So it's like it sounds terrible with brutalism, but there's some buildings that are nice. Like there's one in New York, which is like this gigantic skyscraper. Okay. And it's like that has like six windows that go all the way down. But it's like it looks like a monolith and it's like a really interesting because everything around it is just like glass towers really? so it looks very unique i don't know the name of it but but i know like in the 70s that was really popular i guess we can cut this way yeah let's get back on the strip like that that building's nice you wanted to check out the library you can notice that he's only coming in october so this goes to show you, you don't need like a lot of gear to make videos oh no just use your phone if you don't have anything else yeah. but how do you like the gopro it's Terrible at night. Terrible so, at night. Yeah, absolutely trash. 
Yeah, yeah so you do your, your yeah. Box during the day. Yeah, do not go. <laughs> do not go at night. Yeah. Unless you want to see pure blackness. Oh yeah, pure blackness and just digital noise. It's digital noise. Yeah, yeah. some people may be into that. <laughs> anyway, you don't need a lot of gear. You just gotta yeah. use whatever you have. So yeah. Whatever One thing that's great about this is like the stabilization. Like you don't yeah. need a gimbal for it. No. Yeah. Like the new GoPro is really like the new GoPro is really nice. Oh yeah, the tent's got like a freaking screen on the front, right? Yeah, like it's fucking stable as shit, man. You could be going on fucking space and it's be stable. And it's just like, like stabilization stable. because Mc McKinnon did like a freaking re like review on it. Yeah. And he's like, it's like the craziest stable like stabilization I've ever seen. Because he I actually went like mountain biking. Really? And the footage was like super smooth. Oh, I, I gotta check out the video, yeah. man. I, I haven't seen any uh, yeah. footage from it. But yeah. the footage, footage is great, but like. It's just not great for nighttime. That's the only thing I would yeah. say. That's bad. I like I like the screen on the front because this is hard to vlog with because you can't just like. Right, right, right. Okay, right. I'm just showing myself. It's fine. <laughs> no. I don't think I'm showing myself on video not yet. My base. <laughs> I actually one time I think I put it put my camera down and there was a mirror. Like, it was like a glass window yeah. and then they could see my face through it. But it's fine. I don't I don't, don't really care too much. But like I'm just sometimes the only thing that's really annoying is Reddit. Reddit people are kind of like dicks on there sometimes. When you do the when I did the bike riding video, oh, let's go this way. Because I post a lot of my stuff on Reddit. Do you? Yeah. On YouTube. Yeah, I post on YouTube and then. Wow, because that's like that's like a no go zone on Reddit. Usually, but like you get a lot of like that's where I think the majority of my views have come from. Really? Is the Reddit. You, you gotta tell me your secret to actually getting your shit up there. Uh, just join like a okay. So you want to do what like photography and videography yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. So I would say. Find like a photography and videography club in Toronto or like in the yeah, GTA yeah. and just post your stuff there because then there'll be more. Yeah, but are you just dropping links or are you just like actually, actually like engaging with people? I'm engaging with people who are, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. nice. You're just, you're, you're just not like spamming links in like no. a group. Yeah. No. So I'll, I'll message people. Some people are like my right. bike riding videos. They sometimes like their bike riding people are very like particular about everything. Yeah. Like if you get started this video in Montreal where I was riding um, next to like next to my cousin. Yeah. And then they, they were just pissed off because I was we were riding side by side by each other. So like I got comments that were like, if, if you did that and I was coming around you, I like really? smash your like tire and like yeah, it was. Oh my God. Yeah, I love I love bike riding, but the, but the community can be a little toxic. But sometimes. Yeah, yeah Reddit's like <laughs> Reddit's pretty nuts, man. Yeah, it's like it's like the hardest uh, like platform to like in terms of like getting getting your stuff like actually like looked at. It's a hard. Mm -hmm. Oh, but, but if you do get looked at, you can get like a lot of views up there too. Yeah. Usually, like, I would say 80% of my views come from that. I would say so. Because, like, it's just uh, some people are off sticks, but sometimes, like, people say nice things. But, yeah. but that's, just, that's just the game, right? But, yeah. My karma went up a little bit. I'm like, what the hell is karma? Because <laughs> yeah. I don't use Reddit that much. I started, that's what my brother told me. Like, if you want to, like, post your stuff on YouTube just like make sure you post on like Twitter or Reddit yeah. so it gets gets looked at at least right because yeah. sometimes YouTube the algorithm is obviously not as not yeah. as good I feel like I should uh, okay let's so uh, let's talk about the street a little bit more California closets there's a British shop here like that yeah, self actually over there Oh, have you uh, you done a video for that? I I've, I've left messages with him. Yeah, it's a cool spot. I want to do. I want to because he's like I think he's like worth like fucking a thousand. Really? Something crazy like that. Yeah. That's insane. Yeah. I get toffee there sometimes because like it's hard yeah. to. It's a very British thing. Yeah. Well, this is a very tiny bar. The Five Social. Placement. I'm surprised if it's like I wonder if it like expands. <laughs> Or is it just oh, like this? Bad. No, it's like usually like this, like inside. Like, hey, nice to meet you. It's just like social distancing. Like, <laughs> the bar's like two right. meters across. I know, right? This is a nice building, too. Anthropology. Oh, yeah, this is like a fancy clothing store, right? Anthropology? It's a clothing store, yeah. I've seen them in the States. I don't think I've ever seen them in Canada. You can tell this is like a city hall building back in the. Maybe the 1800s. Let's see if you can find a plaque. I don't see anything. Let me let me walk around this way. Let me see if you can find something. All right, no plaque. That's weird. Usually, uh, buildings have this will have plaques. <laughs> that's that's really interesting.
What I like about Oakville, like uh, their downtown isn't just like the, the strip. It's like the build, there's like retail yeah. on the sides as well. Yeah. And some streets. Yeah, how much battery life do I have? Oh, 54. We've been going for like 30 minutes, which is not bad. So we are on Lakeshore and Thomas Street, okay. You always need a butcher shop. What is this? Winterberry Lane. Oh, it's a furniture store. Okay. Furniture home. There used to be a cop's bread near my my house, but it closed down. Oh, that's bad. Go with. They have, they have good stuff. Yeah. It's sad. I was uh, doing a walk by Streetsville. And like yeah. a lot of like, a lot of, you know, retail buildings have just closed down. It's sad. Oh. Beehive hair studio. Avalon fine jewelry. That's the British place. It looks open, yeah. I don't know, that building reminds me of France for some reason. Like the Juliet style right, 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 right. Uh, balcony. Right, right, right. I went to architecture school for a bit. That's why. <laughs> so I know a little bit. Lady went to architecture school, so he's smart. A little bit. I dropped out because I'm not good at math. <laughs> I guess you need math for architecture. Yeah, like I just like the way the design looks. Yeah. But they're like, oh, you need to know physics and calculus. So like, fuck. Oh, that's <laughs> cool. So you need like the, uh, I guess the balconies. Yeah, they're called uh, Juliet, uh, Romeo and Juliet style balconies. So we're like, you can't like. You can open the door and then like obviously like, you can't walk into it. Yeah. It's just like, okay. But yeah, it's interesting. I did not know that either. Yeah. You see that in France a lot. And then like even like the, the top. I've never been, even been to France, but I've just like yeah. looked at Google Maps sure, sure. videos of. <laughs> you got my Malaika? Is that just an L or I? I don't know. What's the battery life on the GoPro? Uh, it's like an hour, but I have an extra battery. I have like four batteries. Though. Oh, that's fine. That's good. Yeah. You don't want to yeah. not have batteries. It's nah. important when you're doing videos. Yeah. <laughs> and make sure they're charged. Yeah. Gotta delete the SD card. All it's of... the whole process, man. Like it's pre-production, <laughs> production, post-production. Post like yeah. you gotta store it. Like it's a, it's a process, man. It like is. I just downloaded all the footage yesterday from the Halloween thing. How to organize mm -hmm. the footage and make sure everything's backed up. Because mm -hmm. I knew I was doing this today, so. Mm -hmm. It's a thing. It's a thing. If you if you if you make videos, you you kind of get our pain. So yeah, you gotta make sure. You gotta look at the videos. You gotta Looks. figure, delete the stuff that's not like you know useful. Yeah. It's it's, it's a, a it's a process. It's not as easy as people think it is. No. <laughs> this is a nice square. I like this yeah, spot. Yeah. You want to say there's like a farmer's truck thing? Yeah. Let's check it out. Let's cut across this way. There was a coffee shop. I don't know if it's still here. I used to go here sometimes with uh, friends when I used to. Green go bean. To... Yeah, green bean. Yeah, it closed. It closed. Yeah. Oh, it's such a good spot right too. There. Yeah, man. Yeah, that was actually the spot. Because, like, Sherry College is like maybe 10 minutes down that way. We take the bus, check it out. Downtown Oakville. <laughs> this is it. This is where people get their shots. Yeah. Actually, yeah. I take a, take a closer look. So you would say like this is the main like like meeting spot, right? For people? Yes. In the same people come to show that have a coffee. Oh shit, this is pretty cool. Yeah. It's like an old like Ford pickup truck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's pretty this is, sick. This is like this is like great B-roll, man. Right oh. Honestly. And the light's shining pretty nicely on this angle too. Right. So you can get some like nice shots of the flowers. So when you post your stuff, you gotta tag like, like downtown Oakville and visit Oakville and yeah, that, Chamber of Converse. Whichever tags are there. I, I sometimes tag the street too. Like the interesting. Tag the street, yeah. yeah. I, just, I would freaking tag everyone man, yeah. because you may be the first person to do this kind of video here. So. Yeah, it might be the first person yeah. to like, check out downtown Oakville. It might be, like yeah. just in terms of like your like point of view stuff. Mm -hmm. You never know what will happen. I use this thing called like TubeBuddy. I don't know, you probably, you probably use it. Yeah, 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 I have, I use it. So like, I just like, 
whatever like it says downtown Oakland and I'll just click on a bunch of stuff and I'll try to get it all all tagged like to 500 at least but yeah right oh there's no front to this thing <laughs> budget cuts, <right>? <laughs> budget cuts. <laughs> do not sit or climb on display This is the Gior what did I say Di Georgia Fruit Corporation. Okay. I met some random dude like uh I was walking around uh, downtown square one yeah. and he did like NFTs and he did like graphic design. Oh yeah yeah. Is he selling? Mm -hmm. right, is he selling is he selling his NFTs? Yeah, yeah he's selling NFTs and how much is he making? Apparently he said he made two hundred bucks on one of them. Yeah. Are you sure he's IG like he approached me when I was doing the video. He was like, yeah, we should collab sometime. You should, man, because yeah. like NFTs, like I don't think people really understand what they are yet. Yeah, it's like, digi but, it's like digital, like. But I know, but if you follow Gary V, like he's yeah. all about it, man. Like, I know it's on it. Instagram, you are yeah, you push a lot of Gary V, right? He's the best, man. Yeah. I love his style. Like, get, he's just, like, get, just do your like, fucking work, man. Yeah, like just don't complain it. about it. <laughs> I watch it, I'm like, yo, I get so motivated. <laughs> You either love them or you hate them. They don't. Yes. Not really in, in between. And the people who hate them, just like, I guess they just. But he's all about NFTs, man. Yeah. Like he's all into it. Like he's mm -hmm. like, this is the future of like, the internet. Makes sense, man. Like yeah. like a lot of digital stuff is like even Bitcoin. Yeah. All that shit. So it's like. Yeah, that's. I mean, Bitcoin and crypto, like they're all like mainstream now. Mm -hmm. Like it's not even like. A, People don't look at you weird if you say you use Bitcoin. Yeah. If you said you use Bitcoin like, even like three years ago, people were like, oh, you must be like a hacker or something. Yeah. Like, oh. No, I just bought something yeah. online. It's not even that hard to do. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's <laughs> mainstream. So, like, NFTs is kind of like the same kind of boat. Yeah. Like, like two years from now, NFTs mm -hmm. is where you may buy all your stuff, like mm -hmm. in terms of like photos and there yeah. may be no more like hard, I mean, there still may be hard copies, yeah. but I mean, people may be going, it's kind of like the record store yeah. and like Napster. Mm -hmm. you know I mean that kind of like people may be going to naps or people may be going to NFTs instead of going yeah. to like the record store yeah people still like buy vinyl I think it's like yeah. more popular than ever man. Yeah. it's like I know some people just like having the physical thing and I understand that my brother's that way my brother has like so many vinyls of course it's of insane course. and he's like yo don't I don't he doesn't even have Apple music or Spotify he's like that shit's like he's like that shit's for like you know peasants and stuff <laughs> he's kind of like a you know a hipster well, like a music hipster. Yeah. I can't believe. Hmm? It should be like an actual truck. Yeah, right? We're just saying that there should be like an actual like front of the truck. Like, yeah. Should make it like a real kind of like farmer's hall feel to it. Mm -hmm. like, because budget cuts only give us half a truck. So. Right, let's check out. Oh, it's a Thai place now. Green Bean. Or oh, was that there before? I'm trying to remember. So this is where Green Bean used to be. Green Bean used to be the coffee shop in Oakland. So good. Now it's just closed down like many years ago actually. And uh, they're very upset about it. Yeah. No, I used to go there all the time. Coffee. Very good coffee. I used to go all the time when I was in school, man. Yeah, it was a spot, man. It was over here, right? Oh, it was right here. It was, it was in here. So it was now... It was here and then the, and the patio was there, right? So... Mm -hmm. And they were coming yeah, back. This, like, you would walk, like, the coffee shop was there and then mm -hmm. the patio would be there. Mm -hmm. To bulk it down, man. Yeah. My dreams are shattered. <laughs> well, you, you should do. They used to have like high school, like Friday nights or something here. Mm -hmm. at the Green Bean. I forget like music, or something with like bands mm -hmm. or something. I forget what it was. Mm -hmm. It was like in the square. Mm -hmm. There's the top. So the Tommy Bahamas, right? Tommy right. Bahamas, yeah. On yeah. the other side. Very fancy. Yeah. All right. Uh, Anything interesting down that way, or should we keep going uh, down the strip? No, nah, keep going. We, we can go to the end of the strip, and then I can take you. Along the way, you can see if you okay. want to do video today or do some video on the next side. I can show you the church and stuff. Yeah. I'm done. We got 34. We're only 34 minutes in. How much time you got left on the battery? Uh, battery, it's like 35% left, so maybe like 15 minutes. But like, I want to get like an hour long video done at least. Okay. So, okay. so how, much, how many minutes do you have left for the video then? Uh, so I'm at 34, so like so 20, 25. 25. So let's see how far okay. we get. Hey, in let's the strip. just finish off the strip first. first. Yeah. Because honestly, I don't know if you uploaded like an hour long video, the encoding uh, time is, takes way too long, man. Off Premiere? Sorry, no, just like to the, YouTube or like to actually like render it? To YouTube. So, it takes how long? So like when you upload it, you know, like yeah. it says processing. Yeah. So there's like an hour long video sometimes takes three or four days. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's that bad, yeah. 
Are you doing 1080 or 4K? I'm doing 4K 60 frames per second. That's why I say Yeah, okay, that's why. <laughs> yeah. It takes days. It takes days, yeah. Like my hour long video to Humber Bay, uh, the first part took four days. And it's not like, cause like, oh, if you have a bigger dead. channel, it'll do it faster. But if you have a smaller channel, it'll take longer time. Yeah. Days. Yeah, it's annoying, man. It's the worst thing. Like I have all these videos uploaded oh and I can't even like, I have to wait for them to code. It's just, that's the worst thing. I don't like, oh, I could shoot in like lower quality, but like. You want to put it Yeah, I want to like do 4K 60 frames. It looks, that's the reason why I got this. Oh, I, yeah, I like the way the light's yeah. shining on this thing. Man, that's crazy, buddy. It's, yeah, it's the most annoying. So I'm like trying to get subscribers up, so maybe they'll push me up right. like the, the queue. Right. Freaking Johnny Strides, he's recording yeah, a 4K yeah, 60 yeah. frames video. Know, right? They're obviously giving him the, uh, know, right? they're giving him the, you know. Are we? Oh yeah, we're not. I was trying to get a little bit closer. Ooh, nice building. Let me see the name of the square. Ooh, I think I just the square. You want to talk to the visit local ambassador? Is that who it is? <laughs> oh, it's probably parking on it. Yeah, it's parking. That's why I said because I parked over here. It's mm -hmm. free on some days. Nice. Yeah, it just says Town Square. Town Square, yeah. Yeah. We don't have very creative names apparently. Yeah. Lakeshore Bridge, Town it's Square. Like circle, rectangle. I'm <laughs> surprised right. this building doesn't have a plaque either. Maybe they just constructed it this way, make it look old, you know? There used to be a Starbucks here too. That one yeah, closed down too. Yeah. Well, Starbucks closed a bunch of stuff because of yeah. I think they expanded too much. They well, maybe hit too I many. Mean, office workers were there. Uh, yeah. Water. People come in and just grab the cup. We have a barbershop. That's one thing I noticed about these like uh, these strips. There's always a crap ton of barbershops. There's a lot of barbershops. Uh, that's like a thing that. Quite a bit. Quite a few. Right impressions. Quite a few. Well, like it says, it's W R I T. Not you get it. Is that water? <laughs> yeah. <it's very laughs> What is this supposed to be actually? Oh, it's just like a furniture yeah, you shop? Yeah, it takes some days to upload a video to YouTube because it's an hour long and it's 4K, 60 frames per second. So days, man. I mean, that's a like dedication. You're just like waiting for the bar to like get to... Yeah, every day I wake up like, oh shit. It says, it still says HD processing. Yeah. I'm like, god damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Say hi to YouTube if you want. Thank you. There you go. Okay. Um, so day. I mean, that's... I don't, I don't, I don't know if I could do that. It's like, I it's could bring down the quality, but I just don't want to. It's just, just... It's 4K or bust. Yeah, it 4K. is. But what happens when you, when you want to do 8K? Then I gotta wait a month, you know, for it to go. Yeah. <laughs> shout out. Shout out to Zyke. Like, uh... <laughs> Damn. This is so annoying, man. I, I one time had three videos already uploaded. And I just had to wait for them to encode. And I'm like, I need to put up a video almost like every other day just to get the consistency up. But it's just annoying. Because usually like when you upload like a 1080p video, yeah. 10 minutes, it takes like maybe a couple of seconds. You ever, uh, yeah. What is, that's a nice, nice little. Broke my freaking hair tie when I got. This is a, this is actually a new mural, man. Oh, nice. What is this, Bailey and Nelson? Joins the, the new mural that we just recently uh, painted here. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, it's cool. I, I want to know like the artist tag. Oh, here is the artist tag. Elise Conlon, you should put your Instagram handle on this. Yeah. Uh, so people can find you. Right, Elise Conlon, shout out. It's actually see. well done. Yeah. Is this should be like a I think, I think we'll be more of this one here. That's like half the battle with these stores. It's just like, you know, yeah. try and make it look enticing make enough. It look enticing. It's coming. 
<laughs> oh yeah, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus, I really want to go inside this church. I think it'd be pretty cool. You know? Do you have to ask to record, I'd or probably have to get some sort of pay on that? I think it'd be pretty cool, man. I think that's great. It looks nice. Yeah, I should have asked someone to ask them. It's supposed to be like a public place, kind of, right? Yeah, so. but I don't think it, I don't think you're walking with a camera, man. Yeah, that's the only issue. You gotta do that like off hours, I think, or whatever hours are busy. Or, mm -hmm. I don't think people want to be filmed when they go in that place. That's true. Yeah, you definitely can't do that. Oh, hey, yeah, we're inside the church, <laughs> and uh, we got Pastor Mike here. And uh, tell me, how you got into the priesthood? <laughs> Grandma Judy's like, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Can I repent for my sins? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Welcome to confession. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me your sins. That'd be funny. Exactly. Green press. Okay. This is like, oh, it's a juice shop. Oh, I like this. Trick or treat. If I could, I would trick or treat. <laughs> I, mean, I just, uh, I uh, just did a local spotlight uh, last week at Sweet Tooth. Did we pass it? I got it. It's like honestly, like the best place for candy. I mean, really? Yeah. I have to show it to you. Check it out. I guess I should get down here. So we're at Trafalgar Road. So this is the main artery. Artery, sorry. Yeah. Main artery of yeah, it's hard word to say. A brown accent comes in. <laughs> Brown, it's like an artery of like the main main street of Oakville. So you go down this way, you go towards the lake, you go up this way, you go towards Sharon College, which is the main main college in the area. So yeah, this is the main street. What is this? Kitchen and bath. I definitely want to do a walk. Like you know, you go east of here on Lake Street. Yeah. Like yeah. the okay. biggest house in Canada is there apparently. Yeah. yeah. But like. I think we're getting close to the end of the strip. I think it's like a few more. Yeah, it just like where that uh, that building there. That's where it ends. Nice. Yeah. Alright, we'll go. Oh, yeah, yeah, we still yeah, got enough time. You. Yeah. Eighteen percent battery. Okay, man. That's you're gonna knock out. You're gonna knock out one video, uh, one battery. Yeah. Stuff guys want, or O's too. It's actually really nice, just really expensive. <laughs> I can imagine. It's like jackets and stuff, or it's jackets and like guys' clothing, like jeans and like fancy t-shirts. Oh, I got you. Art Lee menswear. Oh, it's closing. It's yeah. a sad sign. Yeah, he's there for a, th a thousand years. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jesus went there. <laughs> so, yeah. So that sweet tooth is like the, oh, okay. the place for candy. Hmm. We'll come back, check it out. They have candy from like all over the world. Really? Mexico, Japan, South mm. America, all over. Mm. I just did one like on Wednesday or whatever. They were pretty cool. I have to check out your uh, one of your spotlights. Yeah. One video you haven't seen. So you just like interview the people? Yeah, I interview the people. Like I interviewed like there's, there's like they like. <laughs> so I I booked the interview, mm -hmm. and they said yes to the interview. Mm -hmm. So they show up, right? Let's yeah. walk for a so I show up to the interview and I, I'm getting my tripod set up, right? Mm. I'm putting the camera on the tripod, I'm making mm. sure all, like, all the framing. She told me when I walk in saying they don't want to be on camera. Okay. And then I thought that um, she meant like her staff, not mm. like the social mm. media manager. Yeah. And then uh, it turns out that they all don't want to be on camera. So I had, so the video is just voiceover to B-roll. Okay, that still works though. It still works, yeah. yeah. I always like getting a face to yeah. the video just so you, I don't know, there's just more of like a connection there, but yeah. anyway, I have to like kind of adjust. But uh, it worked out well, they were really nice. Mm -hmm. So I do recommend uh, Sweet Teeth if you're into sweets, because mm -hmm. that's what they do. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the name. 
Okay, this is like the only coffee shop left, I think, on the street. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's Aroma, there's Poisson. Poisson? Uh, we, passed, uh, we passed Tribeca, which is probably the best coffee shop. I oh, I might grab that after the yeah, video. I, mean, I, can, I can take you back, but I think Tribeca, to me, is the best coffee in Oscar. All right, we'll check that out. And we passed... Um, Definitely need a coffee. Uh, we passed... Uh, Tommy Cafe, which is actually, which is actually another great dessert place. Mm. I was wondering why like people don't make neighborhoods like this anymore. I guess it's well, I, some... I think space yeah. also. Like a lot of I think places are just getting built by condos now. Yeah. Like, you just can't have like mom and pop shop, mom and pop shop, mom and mm -hmm. pop shop like stacked together now. It's like condos, condos, it's like, condos, condos, condos. It's like either an RBC or like a shopper's drop. Or like a shopper's or like it's yeah. hard to get space now. Well, this is what makes cities interesting or like places interesting like most yeah, people come places. to like spots like this to yeah. hang out I know. and then we just build like suburban like you know <laughs> wastelands <laughs> i would know because i love the saga <laughs> which is like a big yeah, suburban yeah, wasteland exactly. <laughs> but yeah this, these places are just interesting I, i'm assuming too like the rent might be expensive for these people yeah too. that's why a lot of business are closed right yeah. also covid you're not making any money so you're just basically closing down the business so, but yeah, yeah rent <laughs> Mm -hmm. And also, when I'm doing these spotlights with like restaurants, they're mm -hmm. telling me we're still paying the same rent, mm -hmm. but we're half the capacity, so like half the revenue. So tell me how that works, yeah. right? It doesn't so work. So it doesn't work. Imperial rugs and gowns. Okay. Yeah, Pizzolo. That's a great pizza spot. Pizzolo. Yeah. All right. Spot. There's only like one that I know in. There's two. Okay. There's one in Streets Full in Misaga, and there's one in Port Credit. Sorry. He loves pizza. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. It's shout great Shout out for a sponsor. Pizza. Oh. <laughs> anyway. They uh, paid we, me zero dollars. <laughs> yeah. So we kind of completed the strip of downtown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Vanguard. Zaid. This place, this place is not open. Oh, okay. Um, I uh, did love to tell uh, Zaid the best place for coffee in Oka, which is Quebecca. So we got to go back. Probably grab a coffee. Uh, so is this the end of your video for downtown Oka? Uh, I think I, we could probably squeeze in another 13 minutes if you're down to do the uh, Cannery Park or like uh, this park yeah, down there. Yeah, we take you back to uh, Lakeside. Yeah. I think a little bit of a lake. Yeah, I'm down because we still have like quite a bit of time. So. Okay, so we're yeah. still within time. So. Yeah. And uh, that's the plan. Yeah. And we'll end over there, get a nice view of Lake Ontario. Yeah, get a little bit of, we get the uh, lighthouse. Mm -hmm. It's always good because that is the signature of a film at the lighthouse. <laughs> Yeah, this place um, hasn't been in business like hasn't been in business like for like five years. Like, really? It used to be like three different coffee shops. Oh, okay. And then they all closed, and then it just was like left vacant. Hmm. But like the uh, real estate is fine because you're on a corner. Yeah, you're like, right here. You're right here. Like there's a parking lot right there. People come down. Got all these houses here too. Yeah. Condominiums. Sprout. Yeah, Sprout's been taken over. I'll probably turn to a bank. I won't be surprised. Probably. <laughs> Usually happens. Oh, these are nice townhouses. How yeah, much battery left? I got seven percent. Okay, I gotta switch over. It's gonna die any second. So we got fifteen minutes. Fifteen minutes left to do this video. So uh, yeah. this is a great time to uh, once again remind you, remind me to be in focus, and also mm -hmm. re remind you to uh, subscribe to uh, Zayed's channel, mm -hmm. please, because uh, that's what YouTube's all about. And mm -hmm. uh, if you're into, uh, this is obviously obviously a different video for me, but uh, subscribe if you dig it, because uh, why not? I think it was interesting, like the uh, conversation is walking around. Yeah, this around. is like a random, just like a casual convo, and that's yeah. what I was uh, telling Zaid. Like yeah. this is just like a casual um, walk and talk, uh, mm. not stuff. Like that. I think, uh, having a casual conversation, I just I think makes the connection more real for the mm. viewer, and it's mm. not like a scripted like "Tell me what you do." Like, <laughs> what is your plan? So, for... um, yeah, that was kind of like the aim, and I think mm. uh, I think it worked out well. So once again, subscribe because uh, yeah. you should. So. Definitely check out Paul's channel because it's just right. honestly, it's yeah. production quality is so good. Thank you so much. And he does a lot of great stuff for like you know the photography community in Toronto, Thank you. and he always ha you know starts up events you know yeah. and helps people out. So definitely check out his channel. I'll give you the I'll give you the twenty bucks later. <laughs> yeah. oh, that was forty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> These guys are nice. Uh, there's another church over here. Yeah, honk at us. No, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, one, one thing that's weird about these places, like these nice neighborhoods, there's never any sidewalk. Like, what the hell? Yeah, there's sidewalks uh, <laughs> on the, like, over like, yeah. at the church. 
It's like rich people, we don't need sidewalks. We drive over here. <laughs> There's another church. Mm. Oh yeah, I, bet I walked by here before. This is, yeah. this is a nice one. It's actually quite nice. Yeah. Is it a Catholic yeah. church? Uh, maybe. <laughs> like the guy's wearing like a green, looks very, I don't know what those are called, the robes? Yeah. Yeah. Just, uh, I'm just showing Zaid the church over here. Cause Beautiful. I, I think the churches are actually quite nice to uh, the photograph anyway. Mm -hmm. But it is Sunday, so there are people going inside, so mm -hmm. uh, I'm being a little bit more mindful about going for the mm -hmm. people going to mm -hmm. You never know sometimes. Yeah, people yeah. can't be uncomfortable, right? About that. Yeah, I should, I, you know, I should do that sometimes. Just go ask if I can take videos and photos. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. um, I don't know who, I don't know, you just called the church and asked him who, like, who, like, you have to mm. talk to the priest? Like, who do you talk to? <laughs> you have to talk to God. <laughs> Get God's permission. This is God calling. Like, you make a Like, what is a YouTube video? <laughs> yeah, I was yeah. thinking, like, if you try to do that shit at a mosque, try to record, oh, they'd be right. like so pissed. <laughs> He's like, "You're here to record well, the women, aren't you?" Like, you, would need, <laughs> like, you would need like approval oh, from yeah. like a mosque to be in there. Oh yeah. There's a nice one. Uh, where's on Credit View? It's like a. I don't know if you know what Emma these are. Like Emma these like a specific religion. Like it's like a sect in Islam. Okay. And they're like loaded. They're like the, like you know, like they're like the Jewish people of Islam. Okay. So like they're they're mosques are like absolutely massive, and they like beautifully designed so okay but sometimes they're kind of persecuted by other muslims so mm -hmm. i want to maybe record a video there because the, the building yeah, is yeah. nice so but i don't want them to like feel afraid <laughs> but but yeah it's a beautiful spot they okay. put so much they put so much effort into like uh buildings like that now like back in the day there was so much like intricacies but nowadays it's just like whatever just pop it up there <laughs> mm. yeah. So this is a money shot like around the bend. If you want to do kind of like a pan to the right, to the, the lighthouse. Mm -hmm. I'll show you first. You can see. Yeah, Lake Ontario. Lake Ontario. Beautiful. There's a huge, and the, if you pan to the right, there's a lighthouse, right? So. Mm. I don't know if I can see it on the GoPro. Probably not, but how much we got? Okay, so we got like five more minutes. Five more minutes? Yeah, we can do five more minutes. Walk yeah. down this way. Yeah. Yeah, this is beautiful. It's one of the best thing about living in Ontario is the lakes, I yeah, would say. it is the best. And you have so many options. You can go to like Lake Huron, you can go to Lake Erie. Yeah. There's nice beaches too. I remember I went to Alberta one time and I was just like, man, the mountains are so nice. Ontario is so lame. And then I'm like, yeah, wait, they don't have this stuff though. You know, like you can't, you can't, you know, go boating or stuff like that. So, one of the advantages of this match. Look at this house right here. Holy. Damn. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera or not. Yeah, you can see a little bit of it. The backside. So we'll do it to 10 minutes and then that's when we'll stop the okay. video. Okay. It'll be a little bit less than an hour. Yeah. And even the clouds look so nice today. Yeah, the clouds are nice today. Mm. I want to do Burlington one of these days too. Burling right. Burlington's got a really nice downtown as well. Yeah. yeah. Like how far west do you want to go? Probably Hamilton. Cause, Hamilton cause, yeah. Yeah. Because I could drive like to most places, so it's yeah. no biggie. Yeah. Might do Waterloo too, because like might as well. Waterloo Kitchener. Yeah. There's some interesting spots. Well, we're, we're doing a Guelph meetup next Saturday. Really? Yeah. You can do a video there. Um, I'm down, yeah. Are, are you guys doing like a, a just photo a, shoot or? Just a, just a casual meetup. Oh, okay. Just a walk in. Walk in. Just a meetup. Just free show up. I'm down. Yeah. It's on the, all, all, the, all the info's on the meetup. Mm. I know there's one like downtown like for November or something. Yeah, like? night one. I think I signed up for that one. Yeah, there's like eight million people going to that one. Yeah, <laughs> I think like, one of the guys. Shit, like, how the hell are you gonna manage fifty people? <laughs> yeah. They're not all gonna show up. Yeah. Like 50 people. 
probably like half of them will show up. That's still 25, you know? I gotta show you my favorite tree that died. Oh. Because it's right here. I definitely gotta get better knife photography. Favorite tree right here, man. Oh, damn. So I actually wanted to mention this. Oh, it's kind of steep. Oh. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna risk it. So, uh, I actually wanted to mention this in a YouTube video anyway, but my favorite tree died, which is so sad. Look at that. Oh, it's ma I didn't even realize it's, it's not massive. Really Must have been lightning oh, or something. Hollow. I don't know. It's a hollow though inside, eh? Mm. It's so, like mushrooms or those rocks. Rocks. People just but, uh, pay tribute. <laughs> it's really, uh, it's really quite sad. I think because yeah. this, this was my favorite tree because it was kind of like I'll, like I'll show you guys a picture, but it was just kind of like on its own, like at a mm. forty-five degree angle, like going out to like to, to the lake. So. Mm -hmm. I don't know. To me, it was kind of cool. So single tear for the uh for the tree pour one but out but it goes to show you like you know don't put off shooting stuff because you never know if it's going to be there the next yeah. day because look at this <laughs> it was here for 10 million years and now it's not so <laughs> um it happens i suppose yeah so anyway i wonder what the x is for i like, guess the mark I take it out <laughs> it's like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> i think we're gonna take that <laughs> all right that's gonna be a bitch to take out of the lake because now you gotta go in the water like, i don't know mm. how you do that get like a crane like how do you get it out of the way yeah a crane or get one of those like things just like a tugboat maybe to pull it out but that thing's gotta hey, be man. mad heavy Fuck, man. i can only imagine it's no joke man how do you get the ruga too like there's like rocks all around it maybe they'll leave it maybe oh and one more thing that's annoying about the gopro there's no zoom in that's still <laughs> So, so you were just saying that there's no zoom in to the yeah. GoPro. So, so like I'm trying to show them yeah, this. Yeah, but you're not actually like, can... <laughs> <laughs> like I can't yeah. crop in. You gotta crop in and post. Yeah, I gotta do that. Yeah. Just gotta yeah, add more like editing time. Yeah. <laughs> but editing time's already only like half an hour. Yeah. Just make a quick like montage right, right, right. <laughs> for the beginning. Might be more for this video because there's a lot more interesting topics that yeah, we. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this this will be interesting to edit. Yeah, it'll be a fun edit, man. Mm -hmm. Actually, I like, I like the process. Sometimes, Editing, like yeah, yeah, like when you're when you're like excited about the edit, it's fun. <laughs> mm -hmm. If you're not excited about the edit, it's not fun. I just like did, edited like a Cooksville video, yeah. oh, a Cooksville video, well, like right. walk, right. and it was kind of like boring. Like to like there wasn't that much interesting stuff. So I'm like, made like a quick like 15 second montage, yeah. and then I'm like, ah, this is this, this isn't as fun. But like this might be more interesting. This is cool. Though. I, I like this. And the water is really chill today. Mm. It's really calm. Like some days it's like choppy as shit, yeah. man. Like fucking weird. It's like smashing on the mile. Yeah, is this gonna flood? But like look at this. Like, here's a photo right here. It's like a boat. Beautiful. Look at this house. Yeah. Well, here's my house, so... <laughs> there you go. That's okay. Actually, you know what? I wouldn't want to live in this house because you get way too much attention from people. Yeah, there's like... Everyone, mm -hmm. everyone always comments and it's like, you get no privacy. Mm -hmm. like, you can't hang out in the backyard because people are fucking looking at you. Yeah. I would actually want to be in like a small house like that because you're a little bit like hidden. Yeah, you're not like right you're not, there. Like, right here, like fucking playing golf. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward eye contact. Like the, ha like the hazards is like the have-nots. Yeah. Know? But this, this is house, good though. This has yeah. a little bit more reason yeah. than a fence at least. So, like, give you a little bit of privacy. This is uh, actually a brand new house that was re rebuilt. It looks, yeah. It looks kind of like a yeah. modern slash like old yeah. school style. Yeah. Open concept it seems. So. Mm. It looks like uh, the container, you know like a, the outside of a container? Yeah. yeah kind of like, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. industrial look. Yeah. Oh, there's pink looking out there. Do you want to save some footage for to get close close to the lighthouse? Oh, I think we're at the ten minute. We're at so we're at the oh, end. Yeah, Are we yeah at we're the at the end. end. Right yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you might not. I might do that for another video. Okay. I guess because that still you looks like do, a. You could do Tannery Park. Mm -hmm. Like you could do, you could start the video at the lighthouse mm -hmm. and then drive across to Tannery Park mm -hmm. and do the video there and because you can get you can get this side of the light in terms of footage, uh, the east side. Mm -hmm. And then the west side, like view of the lighthouse. So you get like the east and west view of the lighthouse in terms of footage. So you can contrast them. Yeah, interesting. I'm just thinking. Splice that. So it's actually not bad, yeah. So I guess we're going to end the video right now. We're for... ending it? Okay, we're doing the outro. Yeah. Uh, 
I'll do mine first, I guess, or should we do it together, or like, what do you want to do? Yeah, you can do yours first, and then I can just, and then I can just do an outro, and then I'll be done. Okay, be done mine's pretty, it. uh, pretty simple, it's just like, All right. thank you again for watching this downtown Oakville walk, slash waterfront walk. Uh, thank you, Paul, for joining me, I really Thanks appreciate it. Me. It was a fun conversation. Very fun. And, uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. Oh, wait, yes, sir. you want to say something? He's like, yeah, I was going to do an outro. Because I'm also going to do an outro. Yeah. Um, so thanks everyone for uh, watching this. Uh, mm. Please subscribe to Zaid if you dig uh, city neighborhood escapes, urban escapes, mm -hmm. uh, history lessons, mm -hmm. random facts, random knowledge. Like Zaid should actually be my phone a friend if I'm my girlfriend <laughs> wants to go in there because he's smart, unlike yeah. myself. So uh, thanks everyone. Hopefully you liked it. And uh, if you like this video, subscribe. And we'll see you next one, whatever I'm up to. So final thoughts? Oh, honestly, it was awesome. I enjoyed right. it. It was like a little mini podcast just yeah, talking about old school architecture. We should, we should start a podcast. I think, I think like people, a walking podcast? Make in the comments if you guys want a walking podcast. I, I'm down. <laughs> see. Anyway, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. All right. How'd you feel about that? That was good. That was good. Yeah. I like that. Do, you, do you want me to send you some footage? Sure, yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, let me just finish off mine. So, yeah. So, yeah, please like and subscribe to the channel. Help it grow. It's been growing pretty quickly. I've never had a channel get to a thousand views that quickly so oh i re i really appreciate it oh boy. and uh paul is an awesome today as well too and peace, peace. there we go